Hello my friends, I'm going on a little journey and I'm really excited about it. You know, it's not every day that I get to try something new and challenge myself in an entirely new way. Today is May 30th, 2024. On June 14th, two weeks from today, I will be up in Banff, Canada for the start of the Tour Divide. And I am so excited. I have been dreaming about this and planning this for well over a year. And it's hard to believe that it's right around the corner. Some of you might be thinking, well, you've already done this. Not really. I did ride most of the route in 2020 back with John and Mira. And we were going at kind of a cruiser pace. We were having fun, we were stopping, we were filming, and it was one of the best experiences of my life. We had a wonderful time out there on the Great Divide mountain bike route. This time is gonna be a little bit different. I am going to be in the race, leaving with the Grand Depart, maybe 200 or so other folks racing down the divide as fast as we can. I am not going to race myself into the dirt. I don't want to be miserable out there. I know a lot of the leaders will be many, many, many days ahead of me. I just want to have a new experience. I want a new personal challenge. And so I think I can do a little bit over 100 miles a day fairly comfortably and still get a full night's rest. That is really important to me. I don't want to be riding my bike till three or four in the morning and sleeping in a ditch for 45 minutes. And, and that's just not my thing. <laughs> okay. So I really am just doing this to try something new, but also to revisit a beautiful experience in my life. And that was the experience in 2020. I'm looking forward to seeing all of the beauty out there once again. And I'm excited to actually see the Canadian section in 2020, I couldn't get up there because of COVID. So that will be all new to me. And I didn't technically finish the route. My belt broke about 130 miles from the finish line in Antelope Wells. Many of you remember that. It might not look steep to you, but it is incredibly steep. Wow. Oh, no! I think it's gonna be really special to experience the grand depart. You know me, I love community, I love camaraderie. I did the Huracan event in Florida this year and there were over 200 people and it was just so fun to be around that energy and to also ride alongside so many other wonderful, interesting humans. Woo! How you feeling? Awesome, let's go! <laughs> I'm used to doing adventures on my own and crying in the woods by myself. And now I will be able to cry in the woods and commiserate with other people. And that will be comforting. <laughs> All jokes aside, I think it will be safer to be traveling with many people who knows like where I'm gonna be in the race and who's gonna be around me. But I imagine there's gonna be people around me for most of this experience. And to go along with the theme of being around other people, I'm really looking forward to experiencing more trail magic. When I did this in 2020, I met so many wonderful, generous, kind-hearted humans who came out to, to help us. And uh, Barbara and John, I'm looking at you up outside of Helena, Montana. So it's um, an easy thing to host cyclists, and we love cyclists, so... Um... We enjoy meeting all the people and hearing their stories. I love riding my bike, don't get me wrong, but what I really love about riding my bike is the ability to connect with people all over the world. You've seen this on my channel, it's my favorite part. I love making friends, I love building relationships, and I'm still in touch with a lot of these trail angels who I've met all over the world throughout the last 20 years of my life. Come on, Tia! Come on, Tia, you gotta beat me up this hill. Oh, there she goes. Another reason why I'm really looking forward to this is because this is an opportunity to learn more about myself. When I'm out there on my own, pushing myself mentally and physically, I always come back from those adventures feeling accomplished and proud of myself and more confident in my skills. And those skills transfer to my day-to-day -day life. 
And I know this adventure is going to be hard at times, both physically and mentally. There's gonna be days where my legs ache so badly I don't wanna get out of my tent, but I'm gonna do it. And I've often said that these adventures, when I do ultra marathon running races or, or bike packing adventures, it cracks open my heart in a way that uh, lets in a lot of love. And this is the hippie part of me speaking now. I get really vulnerable during those times. And I think I'm just much more of a sponge and I just take it all in. I take the love from the people around me, trail magic, other races, random people I meet at gas stations. I have time to think about my life and everybody I love, my family and my friends and dream towards the future and what I wanna do with my life and yeah, here I go. This is my mind just wandering and that's what I'm gonna to get to do out there. My mind is gonna have all day, every day to wander. Essentially, what I'm saying is this is a gift. This is an absolute gift that I get to do this. When it comes down to it, the act of what I'm about to do is very simple. All I have to do is ride my bike, and that is pretty darn incredible. And although the act of riding a bike is indeed simple, riding a bike for 14, 15 hours a day is hard, day after day after day. I'm looking at a 25 day finish, that's a long time to be on the road, hammering out 100 miles a day going up and down big mountains. I'm overwhelmed, I'm scared, I'm excited, I have all the emotions, but I'm ready. I really am feeling ready. I will be filming it, but not in the traditional sense of my typical videos. I am not gonna be setting up the tripod and riding my bike in front of the tripod. That takes way too much time. Most of what you're going to see is just the GoPro on my handlebars, and I think I'm gonna bring my drone because the drone shots are just so beautiful. Again, I want to challenge myself and go fast, but I also want to take some time to document the adventure for myself and to be able to share the story with you in hopes of inspiring you, the viewers, to get out and challenge yourselves in some way, shape, or form. I'm sure some of you, none of you, many of you, who knows, will ever get to do the Great Divide race or something else, but you get to choose your own challenge, and that's the beautiful thing. And I'm really grateful for YouTube, this box right here. Thank you, YouTube, for allowing me the opportunity to share these stories. Yeah, I feel good. I will be riding my brand new Priority 600 ADX. This is a bike that I helped design with my friends at Priority Bicycles. It is the new version of the Priority 600X. And back in 2020, I actually rode the prototype of the 600X on the Great Divide mountain bike route, and that led to the 600X. And now I get to bring, bring it home in a way, bring the new version back to this beautiful route. My setup's gonna be pretty similar to how it always is. I'm not gonna go super lightweight like a lot of the fast people up towards the front. I want to be comfortable, so pretty much everything that I carry on my normal rides I will be carrying during this race. I have a detailed gear list I, uh, that's always linked in the description of every one of my videos. One major change is I'm gonna put aero bars on the handlebars, not because I'm so aero and I'm concerned about going fast, but more to have just more hand positions to be comfortable, and especially in the winds in New Mexico. It's always windy in New Mexico. I will try my best to upload some content during the race, but it will be very simple, nothing edited. I will just probably turn on my cell phone camera, talk to the camera, talk about my day's experience and put it up on YouTube. So there's at least something coming out so you, you know that I'm okay and that my mom knows that I'm okay. I will take all the footage that I gather during the experience and come home and edit it. So stay tuned for all those videos after the ride. And like I said, during the, the race, I will upload to YouTube and definitely my Instagram. So if you wanna follow me, follow YouTube and Instagram, and I will be uploading whenever I can, whenever I have service, whenever I have the energy. <laughs> there I am, that's me. Oh, those are, that's the Canadian Rockies. This is 
somewhere in northern Montana looking up into Canada. I'm so excited that I get to go up there and actually experience the Canadian side of this amazing route. And thank you again to the people at Adventure Cycling for developing this route, I think, man, 30 years ago now. Uh, people from all over the world flock to this route and there's good reason. It's stunning, it's beautiful, it's, you know, a lot of gravel. It's away from scary roads with lots of traffic. It, uh, it's really something special. So here we go. Feeling so grateful that I actually get to be doing this and to have all the gear, nice gear to be able to set off on something this big. And uh, thank you for all your support over the years for watching my videos and stay tuned for this big one this summer. I'm really excited to share it with you. I'm just gonna keep watching this drone footage for a while. It's pretty mesmerizing. Look at that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Incredible. All right, we will see you out there.